Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Jared Bankins. You're now watching the Venom vlog with my homie Seek. Now, don't forget to catch me as Isaac and Sony Pictures Venom, premiering October 5th, 2018 in theaters. And you can also catch me on Sci-Fi Channel and USA Network's The Purge, premiering September 4th, 2018. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and uh, I'm actually starting to get my strength back and I'm glad because this was something I posted about two or three days ago and I wanted to do a reaction to it and then I kind of, it slipped my mind and I wasn't feeling too well that day and I had other videos that I already scheduled to make and edit. So uh, I, I'm just now getting to it now and this is How Venom Should Have Ended. I really like this channel a lot. It's called How It Should Have Ended. I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, already know it exists and I've checked it out before but if you haven't, I'm going to put a link to this video down below. Make sure you subscribe to these guys. What they do is they do flash animation and different styles of animation to basically do their versions of how movies should have ended uh, after they have the power of hindsight of seeing the movie and seeing what works and doesn't work and they kind of critique it in this way like this is their way of critiquing it but also having fun with it and appreciating the movies for what they are and I was hoping they would do one on Venom I was like come on this movie made almost a billion dollars like 850 million dollars it definitely uh, you know exceeded everyone's expectations and uh, even fans who were looking forward to going into it I think it even exceeded those expectations as far as like how well it was going to do um, you know what we all think about the movie varies obviously but uh but you can't escape the success it was and uh, and already you know they're talking about the second one and you know we i saw like an article about it you know trying to hit like an october release date of next year um but i don't know if it will and you know they still got to get a director they, they might start filming in november obviously i want more care to be put in this one so I don't want them to rush it, uh, but uh, but it is in the works. Like the second one, the wheels are turning, the script's being written by Kelly Marcel. Obviously Tom Hardy's attached and there will probably be more announcements very soon. I think they're just doing the one at a time thing where they're gonna focus on Morbius. They'll probably do some Morbius announcements at Comic-Con and then Venom they'll probably do you know closer towards the end of the year like they did last year where they went, or two years ago when they went to the Brazilian Comic-Con and that's where they like made their first Venom announcement. So I'm, I'm gonna guess they might go back to Brazil and do that again or do or do it somewhere else overseas to announce the movie but uh all that aside you know that has nothing to do with this uh but there is you know the wheels are turning for the second movie so I'm excited for that but for this how Venom should have ended I'm so excited these guys decided to do one and when I saw it post a couple days ago I was like don't watch it don't even share it or tweet it yet um, you know, because then everyone's going to start asking you questions about it. So I wanted to make sure I tweeted about it after I watched this. So we're going to watch this real quick and uh, and react to it. So thank you guys for being here. And like I said, check out this channel down below. They already have, you know, millions of uh, subscribers, I think. Uh, but, uh, you know, please be a fan of these guys. They work really hard on this stuff and they have a really good time making it. And they're very funny. So I can't wait to see what they do with Venom. Without further ado, let's dive right in. How it should have ended. Hey, Eddie. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> they started with the kiss, which did not win MTV's award for best kiss, which is frustrating. Who did you think it was? I don't know. Venom with, like, you know. Who did you think it was? I don't know. Venom with, you know. Whoa. Bring me more homeless people to test on. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, hello, police. My boss is kidnapping innocent people and killing them with experiments. Can you maybe put a stop to it? I was going to go to a deadbeat reporter, but then I thought you guys can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now they don't really do endings anymore. They do like scenes throughout the movie that could have been the ending. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. You saved the day. Oh, thanks. I'm not a superhero, though. I was just doing what I thought was right. Which is exactly what a hero does. Hey, I'm Batman. You want to know my secret identity? Oh, um, yeah, actually. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do next. <laughs> that's right. I mean, I'm Batman. I, I think that's been a running gag where he, like, uses that as a pickup line. And, uh, that's funny. It actually worked on Jenny Slate. <laughs> Here's a bright idea. Why don't we stop making drones whose only weapon is to slam into things, but instead use drones that have missiles or lasers or even tasers? Oh my gosh, we're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of true. Get this. Take him out into the woods <laughs> and eliminate him. Why don't we just do it right here? Not like he's the first person we've ever had to clean up inside. Oh right, yeah, sure. Just, just do that. <laughs> 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 That's also true. I've been impaled. 
I love it because they attack like little logic questions, which is always fun. Yeah, why'd they take Eddie out into the woods? They could have just killed him in that room. This is dead. <laughs> yeah, I left the Brock body because it died. Went back to the girlfriend because she was close by. <laughs> Riot just escaped then? He took off in the shuttle, yeah. What if he returns with his symbiote army? Even if Drake doesn't starve his <laughs> like, all alone out in space, we can just light him on fire with the bride there. Alright, fell symbiotes. Look at that. So yeah, not worried. <laughs> but this is how it really should have ended. At the beginning of the film. I will just sit here for six months before looking for the lab. Oh, no, 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 no. We are not staying here. We are leaving tonight. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll save you, my brothers. Holy crap, what is that thing? It's like <laughs> Yeah, we talked about that on our review about how there was like, it hung out in this old woman for six months, and you're just kind of like, are you why? Insane? So we took over the lab, and now we're... Now there's anti-venom and carnage. Excellent. <laughs> well, most of us are on a quest. That one keeps having feelings for the human scenery. The lights are so beautiful. <laughs> oh, gosh, you're such a loser. <gasps> Apologize! <laughs> Apologize! <laughs> nice. We'll sit through the credits so that way everyone's hard work is, uh, is recognized here. Um... Good job. I, I love what these guys do. They make really fun videos. Oh, chocolate ice cream. Wow, this is actually very good. I know, right? <laughs> With Wonder Woman. Nice. Yeah, they kind of, when they started off, I think they did a lot of Batman um, and Superman conversations, like at like this that diner that you saw them in. And it's mostly just them, you know, talking to each other and like, you know, having a cup of coffee and, and asking each other questions about just everyday stuff. And uh, that's kind of like early on in their channel they were doing stuff like that and then it kind of grew from there and then they started just doing endings where it was like quick videos of just the end of the movies and then over time they started developing more than just the ending they would pick logic uh, questions they had while watching the movie and they would do whole scenes around them and like hey why didn't you just end it here or this scene you could have ended it here or whatever like Jenny Slate could have just called the cops instead of going to Eddie Brock um, so yeah I mean and I'm sure there's some logic there of like oh she'd rather than be exposed because the cops could be in on it or bought by you know or something like that i mean you know those lines of dialogue could have been in there or, or should have been added or something but you can kind of understand the logic uh, on some level but it's fun to just kind of have fun with these you know like that's they're not like dogging on the movie completely they're just kind of like hey these are fun little things that we can poke at and makes uh, for vi good video content and i agree i think they uh, put together some really fun stuff so that was a blast i'm glad i watched that and uh i'm sorry i waited a couple days to do it uh, but now i will tweet this out so that you guys if you haven't already seen it that you can check it out i'm sure a lot of you already have uh, but if you haven't you want to see it without me talking over it please go subscribe to these guys i'll put a link to their channel in this video down below definitely show them some love and uh, thank you all for being so patient with me i'm starting to feel a little bit better now uh but uh you know hopefully i'll, I'll continue to bounce back uh to full strength very soon so again thanks for watching my videos i really appreciate it we got a lot more coming up very very soon we're going to start the summer of carnage uh probably in a couple weeks so I'm going to try to get through some of these uh, Eddie Brock videos before or between now and then. So, uh, yeah, definitely buckle in because we got a lot of content coming up. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.